Hey guys, this is Cole from Aqua Herpers, and today I'm starting a new series, How to Catch a Salamander. And if you can see, I have orange cones lined up. Last one you might not hear me. And over here, I have them all lined up. Alright, I want you guys to pretend right through here this is the creek I want you guys to pretend between these cones are water and this right here the cones represent land and from there on out like trees and land and stuff just pretend like that stuff is not there okay pretend like this is a creek in the woods same thing goes for this side like you know trees and you know dirt and leaves this is your creek and I just did like a tiny portion section of it All right. And this is how you're going to catch a salamander. And you know, if you see my past videos, that salamanders like water. like They like moist, you know, damp areas. A creek is a great place to find them. But if you're just not having luck at your creek, the best thing to do is, and this is a good tip, that I, I invented this little tip myself. Here I have a garbage can and a lid. What you're going to want to do is, you're gonna you're gonna wanna get like a log or something. Let's pretend this garbage can lid is a rock. Let's pretend it is a very, very like a very, very, I don't know, big rock. Big like rock with moss on it. Put it next to the creek right there. See like that? Alright. Now let's go get this log. And they don't have to be this size. Pretend like it's a log or something, you know? A piece of dead fallen wood. And you don't got to put it, you know, on opposite sides, just put it somewhere kind of close to the water, like this. And maybe go out, go back out there and find some more stuff. That's my rock, and that's my imaginary log, and my imaginary creek. And what you're going to want to do is, um, you might even want to, like, spray the log down, like a little sprayer bottle, and the rock down. Probably not the rock, just the log, really. And what you're going to want to do is, is leave it there and then come back the next day. And to your surprise, you're most likely going to find a salamander. But to tell you the truth, if it rains the, the day before you go out there to look under your logs and rocks into the creek, you are like 99.9% .9 going to find a salamander. I mean, really. And the one time like you don't find it, it's probably because it's just going to run away and you don't you know, get it in time. This is a great tip for finding salamanders. This is how I find mine. Here's my neighborhood and way, way over there behind, like five houses behind that, there's a creek and I do the same thing. I didn't want to walk that far and I thought it'd just be easier to use this. I didn't want to drop this camera into the water. So I thought this would be safer. So anyways, this is here, my little setup thing. Now it's just like, you know, like, ooh, alright, sleepy, 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 come back in the morning. Ooh, alright, let's see what I got. Oh man, I didn't get nothing. And yes, I know I'm walking across the creek. I wouldn't really do that. Let's go to my rock. Ooh, I found something. Cool, salamander. Catch it, put it in my critter keeper, take it home, and take care of it. That's as simple as it is. But you're always going to watch out, and also you're going to want gloves for lifting stuff, because... You know, centipedes and other little poisonous things that I don't like. I like to hide in the same places as salamanders. So there's one of my tips. And tomorrow, I'm going to make another video with another good tip. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope you have luck finding your salamander. Thanks. Cole.